As a mechanical engineer, I love machines. But the one thing I love more than machines are nanoscale machines. Machines that are so tiny, they're a fraction the size of a red blood cell. Think of it, millions of tiny robots traveling through your blood, delivering life-saving medicine. Now, I must confess, my research isn't on building these machines. And in fact, we are a long way away from having nanoscale machines inside our blood. But I like to think that my research is an important stepping stone towards this direction. You see, before we can build anything at the nanoscale, we must understand how the mechanics of materials changes at this scale. This is the focus of my research. And by answering this question, we one step closer towards this future. Now, as I'm sure you can appreciate, measuring the behavior of something so small is incredibly complex. To realize this, I took a small sample of a material and observed it within an electron microscope, an extremely powerful microscope. And by measuring tiny vibrations in the material, I am able to measure its mechanical properties. And through this, I came towards some very interesting phenomena. My first discovery was that nanomaterials can be vastly superior in strength than their bulk counterparts. We call this smaller is stronger. And what we see is as materials get smaller, their mechanical properties improve and they became stronger. This opens fantastic avenues where nanoscale devices can be stronger than we previously thought. Diving deeper into this led me to my second discovery, and that is surfaces matter. What I found is that surface atoms behave differently to atoms within a material, and in fact carry greater in fact, carry greater loads than the rest of the atoms. This is what causes nanomaterials to be stronger than bulk materials. So bringing this all together, what have we found? Firstly, the mechanical behavior of nanomaterials is fascinating and vastly more complex than what we originally thought. Second, we found that nanomaterials are stronger than their bulk counterparts, and this is because of the increased significance of surface atoms. Discoveries like these are being useful in designing nanoscale devices. And in fact, discoveries like these are already being used in photovoltaics, um, that is, next generation solar cells and next generation smartphone displays. And maybe one day my research will help us have smart robots traveling within our blood. Thank you.